Hello everybody, my name is Aceface and New Quadrant has just been released. As we can see here, there's a new loading screen here for the new quadrant called Gateway. Okay, so this is going to be the third quadrant of 2021 and it's actually going to be a particularly short quadrant apparently according to CCP compared to other quadrants so it will not last very long. It will actually last until November. If we go here in the patch notes you can see here some uh, focuses that CCP tries to emphasize here and in short the main uh, like focus here is to be a fresh new player experience for new players. This is pretty much been what people have been anticipating to be the next big patch for EVE Online but it is basically a quadrant focused on the new player experience but there are also some more things that I thought were very interesting that they led to in from this new player experience because there is a particular reason it seems like CCP is wanting to have more new players or improve and revamp the new player experience but we can see here this is, starts then in November the fourth quadrant and also what I think will be very interesting here is that they're going to uh, update scarcity so you know all this like scarcity stuff where like reduced m minerals and everything in general has been nerfed in terms of isk making apparently this is going to stop in November I've heard a lot of stuff about that so hopefully it will when they say when the, it's going to be updated resource scarcity now here we see they focus a lot about the like new player experience, this kind of stuff here. And they have this whole new skill plan, which I want to actually check out because I have some opinions on this. I looked at it quick, but I didn't look too much into the depth of it. It's got skill plans as well. And skill plans can be like a way how you have this app called EVEMON. You know how you can like make skill plans to have a good idea of what you want to train well you can actually now do this in game. So I really like that CCP has added this. I felt like this was something that was quite necessary. But then this here is actually something quite interesting, quite spicy, actually. So you see here, Eve in the Epic Store. Now, this here is the something that's going to happen on the 23rd of September. You can see here, Eve is apparently going to be in the Epic Store, like the same store that's made Fortnite. So it'll be quite funny to see uh, Eve Online being side by side with Fortnite. <laughs> But hopefully it introduces a lot of new players and like broadens the horizons for EVE Online so that a lot more people will encounter this game. And I think that this is a big uh, reason why they're focusing on the uh, you know the new player experience because you can see here uh, the new air player experience, the, what is this whole new player experience is called, so that these people who play through the Epic Store will then get the first time see this uh, or play EVE through this new player experience that they've got focusing on it in here. All right, so that's pretty much the patch notes right there, but I want to check out the new skill plans and also the character sheets because the character sheets, they're quite spicy and I looked just quickly at it when I logged in earlier today and I was not actually that happy with it. It was not really what I would have wanted from a new skill plan, but we'll go over it right here because it is... Uh, quite different from the previous one so we'll first go in the character sheet so remember how before you went in the character sheet and then you had your skills here but now there are no skills here you just yeah you just go straight up to implants like home station kind of thing and just straight up here i like this tab i think the design is good but just some things i think a little bit annoying is this omega sign here it feels very out of place could they please just move it here move it down here i think this is very out of place right here the amar logo looks good in the corner but this feels a little bit out of place <laughs> so that's just a little improvement right there although it seems all right i like how you can see your full portrait because it actually makes you able to see your uh, trousers you're wearing here so i can actually see my trousers here and you can tell they're a little bit not so matching with my triglavian suit i would have loved that they had triglavian uh, trousers but unfortunately they don't so i just went with the next big thing some desert camo <laughs> trousers <laughs> we can see like the classic uh character Items here, like pilot services, skins, all this kind of stuff. But then where are the skills? Well, you can click here for the skills, but there's also another tab here. You can click here to get skills as well. So you can see here, this opens the new skill uh, panel. Now, some things I would like to say here, some possible improvements here is that, okay, this is how it starts. It starts up in this full screen mode. Me personally, I don't like this full screen mode because it just feels too overwhelming. I prefer that it focuses on like the as a small version like this this is how it starts then and then also another thing is that i realized that it starts up the skills with the skill plans thing and for a new player i think it would be better if you start here in the skill catalog because if you're opening skills for the first time as a new player you're going to be opening up the skills tab for using skills 
you will not be opening up the skills tab for the first time to do skill plans. This is something other players will do like later down the line. So that's why I think it's important to start up with this because if you start up with this, this might feel a little bit too overwhelming. Might feel a little bit too overwhelming. I prefer if it starts up like this because then you at least see all the skills you can train and you can see them here. So we see the skill plans here and this is a brand new thing that I've never messed with before. So we can see here what this does. So we've got an enforcer maybe. This is something that I would perhaps want to do since I do a lot of PvE stuff. So what is this? You can see here Galenta Bounty Hunter. See different plans here. Completion of training. These different aspects here. Hmm. So it seems like this is somehow a like, plan that is supposed to get you through some basic skills to be able to get through like P PvE hunting. So it seems like Galenta Bounty Hunter I'm guessing is like a you know, Galenta PvE focus right here. So we saw that we can see the Algos right here. See drones as well. These are the kind of things we've got right going on right here. Let's see Amar. We'll be here. Amar Bounty Hunter. I'm guessing the Dragoon maybe. No coerce is what they focus on. I thought the Dragoon is a bit more PvE focused. What about Mission Runner? And get Coercer here as well. I mean, these are some basic plans. Same way, like, you know, we've got these community fittings. We've got these plans here as well. It's quite interesting. I think it'll be very nice to be able to have plans that you can, like, you know, plan more in the future something that i saw here as well is that they've increased the max amount of skills you can have so remember before you could put as a max 50 skills now we can have 150 skills so that's quite a bit of an improvement and i really like that because say you're like starting out or say you're making an alt especially where the skills training is like very very short then it could be good to be able to put lots of skills because if you're making an alt you maybe want to train a bunch of skills initially so you just add them all straight away you don't have to add uh, a certain amount 50 and then wait a bit and then add more you can add them straight away now something here is if we want to make a plan i've got expert systems here personal plans personal plans here this is the stuff you want to make yourself because you can heard i've heard you can share these and this would be very good because if you can share plans you can make it very easy for you to make alts like if you have alts for mission running let's create a plan here let's just add some plans here plan 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 you can add these what is this you can add these here can we save this it must have a name so let's say this is pi we added all these so then you can just like, say PI plan. Okay, so we've got this PI plan right here. So what does it say here? 31 days. So show skill content. So see here, these are the skills I would need to train then to be able to get this PI plan going. Hmm. I like the graphics. The graphics look pretty stylish. Let's see now. Save a copy of the plan to your personal plans. Share. How do you share? Share skill plan by dragging this icon. Ooh. Look at that. You can just like share the plan like that. That's pretty cool, actually. You can just take this icon and then just drag it. You can share it. That's pretty cool. You can then track the plan. What do you do if you track the plan? So you're tracking this like this. I'm guessing that this bar here becomes smaller when you have uh, like uh, completed this untracked plan. There we go. All right. Okay, that's pretty cool. Can delete this i'm not really too bothered about pi right now so we've got these certificates is there anything like later than this there only seems to be two here uh, it's pretty basic but i mean what you can you do what can you do it's not really really much i mean they're just plans they're not really they can only come up with a certain amount of plans okay but we've got the skills here the new skill menu and i like the look of this graphic right here i think this looks very nice compared to the previous one but something i'm not too big of a fan of are the way these skills are shown right here i do not like that and I'll show you why. So if we go to a like a type of skills that are more, I've got more skills like here. Look how much space this takes. This takes a lot of space. Let's see if we can find a bigger one. Where is gunnery? There we go, gunnery. Look how much like space this takes. I re I would have liked it to be more compact. Like you could fit like two skill bars in between this. You see how much space this is taking? And it's not like you can like resize this or anything. It's going to be still the same amount of like density. So if we could have like a way to do like a compact view, for example, that would be very good. You can see how, like there's so much space in between these. It feels very unnecessary in my opinion. 
Yeah, look how much. There's a lot of space. Now, I'm viewing, obviously, all skills, my skills here. But still, you have to scroll so much. I think it's still you have to scroll so much. I really, I, I think it would be even better if they made this a bit more compact. It feels like it was made for touch screens or something because of how big the icons are. I mean, obviously, if they're going to make EVE for touch screens, then it would be good to have an option like this. But we're not playing on touch screens. We're playing on PC. <laughs> all right, so that seems to be how it is. Then we've got all these training queue right here. Can we make this a bit smaller? Hmm. This gap right here feels a little bit too big. I don't know. It's just me, but I feel like it's a bit too big. <laughs> all right. So let's see now. We can see all the skills. What does this do? Add skills clipboard. Okay. We can clear them here. A bit of bulk stuff. And we can pause and use skill injectors. Something I think that would be cool they could add is that, you know, with like attributes, how you got this. However, I've heard like a lot of people saying on different places like the forums etc is that they're going to rework attributes but i think it would be quite cool like you know how we have the as attributes right here that determine how fast you train skills maybe if you like hover your mouse you see like uh, the attributes so like it'll say primary and secondary attribute you can see obviously here i guess but it would be nice to also be able to see here because not everything is exactly this way an example would be in a spaceship command if we go here if we go, for example, Amar Battle Cruiser, this has the primary attributes perception and the secondary is willpower. But if we go and say Marauders, Marauders is over here. You can see here the primary is willpower. So it's a little bit different. So it would be nice if we could just like hover the icon because sometimes I wonder that and that would be quite a, like a convenient thing to see as well. All right, but otherwise, I think it looks like it's a good look. I just wish that they would make it a bit more compact. That's the only thing. Here too, I think it could be a bit more compact. Like... We don't, I feel like this scrolling is very unnecessary. You don't need to have that scrolling. And if some people like to have it, like with spaced out like this, I think they should definitely be an option to have the, like these uh, options more spaced out or more compact. Like you can switch between the modes the same way you can, like in some like Excel programs and Word documents, you can decide to have like the menu a bit more compact or a bit more sparse. All right. So there we go. The new skill sheet, the new character sheet. Pretty cool. I like the way they're going, at least making Eve look more modern. It looks more like a modern game with all these new changes. I hope they keep going on in the right direction, especially with just the general like PvE and EVE Online. You know, this whole new player experience looks really cool and modern. I can't wait to eventually see L4 missions and other type of PvE activities get reworked the same way. We're getting a really new modern character sheet and modern new player experience. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's my thoughts on the new Gateway Quadrant. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.